Welcome back. I'm PG. I'm chillin'. This is ever too cold for a cold brew. And this is my review of Drake's Scary Hours 3, The Return of Scary Hours. Scary Hours, the expansion pack. Basically a month after releasing for all the dogs and saying he would take a break from music for one to two years, the Six God surprises us with a six song EP or rather a expansion pack or bonus tracks added onto the album. And even if you were sick of Drizzy at this point, you have to admit that you were intrigued and surprised by the production credits that came out a day before this. We saw Conductor Williams once more, Boy Wanda, this rising producer called Overcast, and my twin, Uncle L, Alchemist. And you gotta admit, the boy, the boy delivered. And it sounded like he had a lot to get off his chest. I would say that Drake revealed and said a lot more throughout these six songs than he did across the entire For All the Dogs album. Red Button acts as this calm before the storm moment that sets the tone for the rest of these tracks. Stories About My Brother is a song that sees him rapping and celebrating the success with his friends coming up. Over Conductor's horn-driven jazzy beat. On the song Shoe Fits, he addresses the notion that people want him to sound and rap like the old Drake, while also taking aim at the fake bad bitch thought community. And on Wick Man, he touches upon a lot of subject matter. There's a jab at Pusha T along with a wordplay with clips. He mentions the loss of a dear friend and questions God and heaven at the same time. And that beat is kind of unique and perhaps the most haunting and dark beat that we've ever heard Drake rap over. So thanks, Unk. On Evil Ways, unlike First Person Shooter, we see Drake and J. Cole actually going back and forth, bar for bar, over a soulful sample. And Cole even matches that Drake type of flow and all works together. It's certainly a nice teaser for their upcoming tour. And lastly, we get the more upbeat You Broke My Heart, which acts as this triumphant yet vengeful song against an ex. And I'm sure social media and TikTok girls will go crazy over the outro where he's saying, fuck my ex, fuck my ex, fuck my ex. Even though it sounds like he's saying, fuck my. So like I said, Drake showed us a lot, improved a lot in these six tracks. Some of his best writing and witty bars in the last few years. It's kind of like he's piggybacking off of that 8 a.m. in Charlotte vibe. So we do get a glimpse of Drake rapping over that Griselda-esque production, and I'm all here for it. I'm happy for Griselda and that sonic movement. Honestly, not really any negatives for me, other than story about my brother and shoe fits dragging on too long. And of course, we get several cringe bars along the way. But overall, Drake definitely pleasantly surprised his fans before he takes whatever break he's about to take. It's a good stretch of songs that I hope translates to a new version and new sound from Aubrey. It's hard for me to pick a favorite at the moment. It's only six tracks, although I am leaning towards Evil Ways. But what are your thoughts on Scary Hours 3? These are my thoughts. Stay warm and stay blessed.